but like I remember everything. I was conscious the whole time. Uh, I just woke up one morning, afternoon, sort of. I didn't go to school. It was Purim, the day of Purim. Um, I woke up, took my dog for a walk, called my mom, said I'm not. I didn't go to school, you know, yelling at me. Uh, <laughs> and I told her about this beautiful uh, Purim package, Mishloch Manot, that somebody left. Has no name on it. It's big. It's beautiful. Can I open it? Yeah, sure. You know why not? Go ahead. Whatever. Um, I opened it. At the time when I when I woke up, the the lady that was helping us clean the house was here. When I came back, she already left. She I think she threw down the garbage. You know, threw out the garbage. Um, I opened it. It exploded. Immediately, I became blind. Um, of course, I was thrown back on the floor. Um, I became blind immediately from, you know, uh, shrapnel in my eyes, and uh, for a moment I was, you know, deaf. I can't hear anything for a while, and then little by little I came back, and then uh, heard neighbors around me and people, you know, asking what happened. I, I don't know. I don't know how I said it, but you know, I just said the the package, the mishach it blew up. So, um, like. 20 minutes passed by, I guess, that's what I was told, the ambulance came. Meanwhile, I was trying to get up, you know, having a hard time to breathe, you know, I was very confused. Um, as I said, 20 minutes passed by, ambulance came, took me downstairs, you know, in the ambulance, I really felt uh, pain. I didn't feel pain uh, before that, but in the ambulance, I started feeling pain, especially in my lower body, in my legs. Mm -hmm. Mm. My feet. Um, I heard, you know, them talking between them and the sirens, and you, know, you could feel the car going fast, the ambulance, and that's where you know I started you know, getting pressure, and everything was very, very scary at that time. So uh, because of the pain, I asked them to, you know, put me to sleep to do something about the pain, because it was like unbearable pain. Um, I was in induced coma for eight days, I think. Yeah, eight days. And after that, I started um, all the operations. I mean, when I was sleeping, they were doing operations on me. I don't know how many, but, <laughs> you know, so many. Uh, first operation was about eight hours. I think so, I'm not sure. A few hours just to put me back together. <laughs> or try. Uh, yeah, so I was all together six months in the hospital. Uh, I was in Schneider in Pitakhtikwa. At first, I was doing the operations, uh, you know, everything I needed. And afterwards, I was sent to Tel Shomel for um, rehabilitation. And I was there for a few months, uh, just trying to, you know, get back together, start being able to run, you know, do it. It's still simple stuff with my hands, like, I'll, you know, pick up beads and put them through. Mm -hmm. String, you know, like anything, Any, like little stuff, because my hands were hurt, you know, from nerve damage. Mm -hmm. uh, to get off all my body, basically. So, also there, I passed a few operations. Um, yeah, and that was it. <laughs> and today, I mean, uh, I used to play basketball before, and I loved it. And today, I'm, thank God, I'm back playing basketball. Although, I was told. I won't be able to jump, run, or anything like that. So now I'm dunking and doing stuff. So. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, I'm gonna play college basketball actually. Yeah. Wow. With feelings. Uh, I never was angry if you're asking that, you know, um, I, always people ask me, are you angry at him, are you angry? No, I was angry, I was never angry, thank God, because I don't know what I would have done if I had anger in my heart, uh, mm -hmm. how would I have dealt with it, if I would have dealt with it at all, uh, but I'm not angry, I'm not, I never thought about revenge, never, um, you know, just, I just want to keep on with my life because uh, I didn't, you know, I was in junior high school, dispensing. 
I had just finished with my high school. Uh, all I wanted to do is, you know, get out and start doing my stuff. So um, I never concentrated on 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 this. On mm -hmm. what happened. Mm -hmm. um, sad to say, there are a lot of people that agree with uh, Mr. Jack Titel and and people that are willing to do this and more stuff. You know. Uh, to me, to my family, to uh, Palestinian, Arab, Muslims, uh, homosexuals, anyone that you know is uh, making the Messiah not come, you know, like. Uh, but I, I don't know if there's a solution to it. You know, there's this. There'll always be radical people, and uh, in, in, in any religion, uh, Islam, Christianity. Uh, Judaism. So I don't know what will be with them. I'm hoping and praying for them that something will change. <laughs>